All right, so taking assets from Quixel Bridge and putting them in BeamNG, I want to install Bridge. And in the uh, plugins, you'll want to install the one for Blender if you're using Blender, which I've already got it installed. I did have a little bit of problems getting it installed, but. Um, once it's installed it works great. I'll load Blender up and we'll just do one object for this video and show you it doesn't take very long to do. I got something downloading in the background so let's see I'm taking a few things to taking a little longer for things to load up here. Alright, so I just deleted the stuff here and in the bridge we'll just find a 3D asset. I'm at like a I've got a nature. I've got a good rock or a good pile of poo. I don't know. Let's go to the rocks. And let's uh, let's tell it all sizes greater than eight meters. So I'll get some of these bigger rock formations here. How about this boulder? Uh, this Nordic boulder. So we'll download it. Let me open this up here. I'm only going to get the 4K resolution. They are also 8K and 2K, but I'm just doing the 4K. Now that it's downloaded, uh, I'm going to export to blender that's exported to blender now it's in blender and looking here at the texture preview I want to point out something that in the material editor the only thing that the game is going to interpret out of all the stuff that's in here is just this base color which this is what the texture the albedo texture is the base texture all the other stuff you don't have to remove it it's just you, the game's not going to the game's not going to use it so what i do is i go into the level that i want it to go in say for example uh, small grid in small grid um, or your level whatever level you're wanting to put it in just make a new folder so that you could export that item into it and the game will make a material for it but go to where a bridge is installed also which for me is here in the downloaded folder 3d uh, let's get the most there it is all right so in here this is where it was downloaded to. There's going to be a few uh, materials. Now, the only one I'm concerned with is the LOD0, LOD0, the higher detail one. Now, while this does include the FBX models for, like, the lower level details, I'm only fooling with the high model quality. Albedo is already going to be copied into there when we save the Blender file. I mean, I'm sorry, when we export the DAE. So what I need to do is get the LOD0 for the normal map and this roughness map. And in this case, I'm going to also get this displacement map. I'm not sure which one I'll use, but I'll use one of the two of those. I know I'll use the normal maps, but anyway, I'm going to copy these to my clipboard. And then in that folder, which I didn't rename, I got to name that something other than new folder. This would be Rock 5. be whatever you want it to be. No matter. So I'm going to paste in materials. And like I said, the albedo is going to be copied anyway. But it won't put them other ones in there when you export the DAE. So I'm not even going to get into LOD management. I'm going to leave everything like it is. Make this quick. I'm going to export DAE into the level small grid in that new folder I've created and there it goes now we we'll load the game and we'll have us rock or a 
boulder. I've messed with this for a while, for the past couple of days. I made a few different things and uh, I thought my game was loading. I may have to stop that download in the background. It's just taking it down. Oh, there was an update apparently to BMNG. I already got that update. I thought. Yeah, I already got this update. I don't know why the game's saying that. But yeah, I made a few things, and I was just, uh, I thought, well, I guess I can make something simple. Now, I guess I could also explain the low level of detail models. Not everybody's got a newer computer, they, you know, some people got older systems, and, you know, I want that many polygons. I would say if you're exporting things to drive on, you do want a low polygon version of the item to drive on if it's high poly model. It'll start eating into your performance pretty quickly. But this is just for show. This is just for track scenery. I ain't thinking along the lines of driving on this, but uh, now the model won't look that great until you add the normals map to it. See, this is a couple things I imported in from from there. Let's say you go into your world editor, asset browser, and you find that folder. Leave this open too. I'll show you something here. So we'll drive the dr drag this new rock five. Where is it? And now we need to add the other maps that I said that the game wouldn't copy over and this is just, just the 4k version the 8k looks even better but leave this open and go to your material editor and first thing you want to do is go down to the lighting and turn on anastrophic filtering because that's not going to be on by default and then the normal map that you put in there drag it and drop it to normal and you can already see that's already greatly improve that you can see how normals make things look better uh, the roughness we'll see how that looks in the specular but yeah I'm gonna use the displacement one in there instead to me it looks a little better uh, the roughness factor really the roughness this isn't a good one to use for roughness I mean it doesn't really Maybe maybe that is good, I don't know. I guess that actually is better. It just you have to adjust the roughness amount so that it's what you want it to be. What looks good to you is all that matters. Now if you want to have collisions on this thing, you know, just go to the inspector for this rock and tell it visible mesh final and uh, rebuild collisions and then you could drive on it. Don't forget to save your material by the way. I always forget that. So you can just put your vehicle on it. See that collisions work. Now I didn't give it a ground model so if you were going to drive on this you know you want to probably go down to uh, additional info for the material for that rock and uh, pick a ground model type. See, this is here at the bottom. Ground type. Probably something like cliff or big rock. Rock large. Rock cliff. Save it. 
rebuild collisions and then it'll have a different ground model on it. I think everything by default is asphalt. So, let's see how many polygons that is. Now, this is the part of the video that if you want to know this part, then I'll go on and explain this to you. But if you go to decimate, which is the way you can get an idea how many polys, it's only 22,000 polygons, but and that adds up if you got a lot of them. So it's a good idea to get in the idea of reducing poly counts. Now I know this thing came with low level detail models. I haven't really messed with the ones that get exported from the bridge that are low level. I usually just decimate the one that it's imported. I'll like, well, I'll duplicate it. And the duplicate, let's just name this something easier to see. All right, so we'll call this rock five, but I'm gonna put an underscore and a little letter A, lowercase a, and then 200. So that means when it's 200 pixels, it'll transition into the other LOD level of detail. So I'm gonna change this one to rock five. Five's just a name I give it. That has nothing to do with the level of detail. What matters is this little underscore and the letter, little letter A, I make this one 500. So this will be the high poly and the other will be the low poly. I'll hide the high poly, so I'm only looking at the low poly. And there is a general rule of thumb that tells you for every transition, it should be half the detail. So if you're gonna make three LOD transitions, they should each be like, 50% less pixels than the next one. So it's not so visually obvious that it's changing into a low poly model, but that's up to you how you do that. I'm gonna just see what point one looks like. And that don't look too bad and it's only 2000 polys. So I'm just gonna use that. Now you leave both of these where they are and I just recommend is using the low poly model also to be the collision mesh. So duplicate the low poly and name it C O L M E S H dash one. Now these three things need to go into uh, what they call empties, which are like you can think of them like a folder on the desktop. You can think of them like this. You can think of a folder like this as having a folder and inside of that folder you have another folder and then inside of that folder you have your item. So that's basically what this is about to show you. So you'll add an empty plane axis. I don't know why it's called, I don't know. It'd be easier if it was just called like empty folder, but whatever. So it looks like this little sideways Y. That's what an empty is. What you'll do is make two of those. And one of them you'll name base 0, 0. And the other you're going to name start 0, 1. While holding shift, you'll left click, drag, and drop. Just like you move something on your desktop, except you're holding shift down. And you'll drop this start into that base, just like that. So if you open up this little tab, you'll see it look like this. Then you can select these items. You can hold shift down to select them all at one time. And then again, hit shift, left click, drag and drop, and put all those into start like that. So if you were to open up these, this is what it would look like. Now each one of these um, now they're all basically I don't know it's just the way the game reads these things it knows this little folder structure so what I'll do now is I gotta go back to my notes because I forgot I forgot exactly the damn I 
think I remember. But I'm going to double check. Forget how is it written out. I don't use it often. All right, there we go. So we're going to make one more empty. And what that's going to do, the other empty, it's going to make this turn into a two-dimensional sprite when it's like 25 pixels big. But that one is going to go in base zero, 00. So we'll add one more empty called BB underscore auto billboard 25. And just like we move the others, we'll hold shift, left click, drag, and drop, and put this, except this one is going into base. Now, there's another one you can put in there that's null detail 10, for example, that would, uh, when it's like 10 pixels big, it just would not even render in the game, which I don't ever use that one. I rarely use these, but I'll show you what it does. What we're going to have to do now is re-export these rocks. Overwrite the other one. And in the game, it'll update with the newer one. And as you can see, as we get farther away, it changed level of detail. Alright, if we get even farther away, when it's 25 pixels, now it's just a two-dimensional sprite. You can go into the object editor thingy here. Hold on a minute. Let's get up back. Let's get back up to this rock. In the um, open up shape edit, if you pick the object and go to inspector and go open up in shape editor. Now there is a bug they know about it uh, about the texture previews being messed up but you can tell it to force detail and what it'll do is it'll show you the uh, levels of detail basically and there's a 22,000 poly and that's 2,000 poly and then that's the billboard see how billboards work they just draw like that but yeah that's just uh, show you what it looks like I don't know, hopefully they'll fix that texture bug at some point in life. Now, since this now is using a different collision mesh, it's not necessary to enable visible mesh final. Just put collision mesh, that tells it to use the collision mesh that's provided. And that's pretty much it for this video. I can't think of anything really else to... I mean, there's a lot of other things I could talk about, but uh, maybe I'll just make another video with something else if people like this one and I want to see how to do it with a different object. I mean, they're all done the same, but you know what I mean. People may want to see some different things being done in the process. Let's, let's see. I got a few things I already made. So we got this this rock here. Oh, well, my camera's turning very slowly. I don't know. And we got. It. these smaller ones here and uh, you saw those yeah my camera's not turning slow as hell for some reason not sure why and uh, let's see stare made these well, I didn't make them. All right, now you see how ugly that looks? That's because uh, somebody forgot to save the material after they 
imported it in and added the other material so see it's got no normal maps somebody forgot to save well, who the hell did that but you can see already how much better it looks with normal maps applied and you add a roughness map and adjust this and this we got some pretty cool looking so stone stairs there but yeah the um uh, the uh assets in the mega scans is pretty 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 cool stuff and like i said these are just the 4k ones i ain't even mess with the 8k but i think that's it Depending on you may once more of these kinds of videos, I can make them. I could also explain how to get the materials from, say, this bridge, because there's a lot of materials too under the surfaces. Pretty much anything you can imagine is in here. Uh, the PBR material version of this stuff so it's pretty impressive what all they've made pretty impressive stuff but yeah I can explain that stuff too how to get those into the game as a terrain paint and like I said I can't give these things away like but anybody can download bridge uh, just let me know